For 70 years, we've been searching for radio signals. When radio communication was used on Earth, scientists realized, well, maybe we can look for signals from other civilizations. As a scientist, you know, I realized that the sky is not classified, the oceans are not classified, because the US government develops new technologies, and if people use their cell phones to record something unusual, uh, they might realize what the US government is doing, and therefore there is an interest on behalf of the intelligence agencies to create some buzz about extraterrestrial objects so that people will not be suspicious of the US doing things. The US government has to monitor the entire sky and look for unusual objects because they might represent adversarial nations that are spying on the US. So while doing so, they might have noticed things that are unusual. So there were elements that we've never seen before. They're looking for elements from the periodic table. Can you see both sides of a black hole? It's uh, more like a sphere if it's not spinning. Okay. If it's spinning, then it looks like uh, a disk. What happens to the matter that falls into a black hole? You may ask, okay, are we at risk that a black hole would ever impact Earth and consume it? I wanted to talk about, you brought up CERN. What are they doing there? There's a lot I actually of, visited CERN. You visited CERN? Yeah, because they invited me to give a public lecture uh, just a few months ago. At, at dinner, when uh, there were a number of uh, high net worth uh, individuals that came to dinner and sat with me, two of them said that they saw some unidentified objects, very unusual objects. That 20 years ago, he saw a giant object in the sky that was moving so fast that it could move faster than fighter jets that were chasing it at the time. Of course, he didn't have any record of that. Therefore, there is an interest on behalf of the intelligence agencies to create some buzz about extraterrestrial objects so that people will not be suspicious of the US doing things. Uh, that I can understand. I can also imagine a, a, motivation to create some confusion uh, in other countries about what the U.S. is capable of. I don't expect the U.S. government to figure things out if they are not made by humans, because that they are not a scientific organization. They are dealing with national security. So I am leading the Galileo project, which is trying to collect evidence. Scientists realize, well, maybe we can look for signals from other civilizations. but. First of all, this is relatively early in our technological development. We don't use radio communication as much nowadays. Why should I wait for the government to tell me what lies outside the solar system? Mm -hmm. And moreover, if you are to transmit signals, uh, you are vulnerable to um, predators. Hiding information from the public on scientific matters makes no sense because eventually, it will come to light. I, I don't care about anything that may have national security implications. That's what the government should do. But if there is one in a billion objects that came from outside of this earth, we should know about it. And so what, what we are doing allows us to calibrate the noise from the background so that if something unusual shows up, we can say how unusual it is. And this is one branch of the Galileo project. A second branch is to search for unusual interstellar objects using the data that comes from the Rubin Observatory. I feel weird asking a scientist this, but Please, which, which... you can ask me anything. Which, because I know you only... It seems like you only go off data on research, but do you have any... Are you leaning any particular way? I mean, you have to be thinking about, about this stuff at night. With about theories. About what? About how life started on Earth. Oh, I, I just don't know. <laughs> but if you ask me, I thought you would ask me whether I believe in God. Do you? The, 
the, the lesson from this is that, you know, sometimes it's important to rock the boat if the boat is going in the wrong direction. And our boat right now, if you look at politics, mm -hmm. at everything, it's not going in the right direction. <laughs> and I'm trying to rock it. My hope is, you know, if we find evidence for a neighbor, it will change everything.